Always there for us. Thank you, Coast Guard. Despite the smell of seaweed, I expect these properties are worth a little bit of money. More pennies that's in my piggy bank, that's for sure. A little small harbour. Back in the day, a very difficult harbour to manoeuvre into. You had to be a good navigator to get the job done. It's an old fishing port, that's for sure. It's, it was mentioned back in the 1480s, historically. Um, I believe the piers, I believe they were all built in the 1700s. Maybe a little bit earlier. Apparently it's in its heyday, one of the most busiest ports in Cornwall. Apparently, did a lot of trade with Camborne, Madruth, Pool, the mining area there. Used to tin and copper would leave here, and we would import coal from here. So, nice little circle, a circle of trade. Off-roading while on the road. Certainly some potholes and chalk holes here, that's for sure. Need some maintenance. Patrice, we need some maintenance. The old cobbles still doing their job. They're certainly in better shape than their modern counterpart, that's for sure. Lovely hot day today, in the mid 70s. Not as humid, not as humid today, which is good. Very nice. Nice for a stroll, that's for sure. Nice. This harbour has certainly seen a few years, a few boats, quite a few boats have come in and out in the centuries. In addition to tin and copper leaving and coal coming in, there was a fishing fleet here. Pilchards was the main fish of choice. Boats could sure do with some water. Beached. Beached. I'd say that the white marlin too is high and dry. Oh, Penzance. What are you doing up here, buddy? Sinbad. <laughs> Taking a bath. Don't blame me, it's kind of warm. We are at Portreath. A very, very nice little harbour village on the north coast. Three miles, three miles northwest of Redruth. Very picturesque. Lots and lots of tourists come here during the summer. Um, it is. It's got a stunning coastline. The harbour is 
very old, small, lovely, lovely to look at. Lots of path. There's some uh, there's some coastal paths. There's lots here, lots to do. Ezekiel Williams and his donkey cart. 1900. Huh. Sailing vessels in Patrice Harbour. 1860s. How about that? Pretty cool. Very beautiful. The lower pilot's lookout. The dead man's hut. Whoa, you're missing some words there. We can make it out. Time and tide spared nothing for this bollard. Rust in peace, my friend. Rust in peace. Wow, AJ and I have just rounded the corner and uh, this is the view. You good, buddy? You all right? Yeah? Tides out. Picturesque indeed. Very picturesque. In even worse shape, my rusty friend. You look a very large thumbtack. You're in better shape. A floral memorial of some description. Yeah, I can see that you would have to be a skilled navigator. That looks tricky. Very tricky. Always an idiot around throwing their trash away.
Very interesting. I'd say a flagpole. Bars here. So if I had a mind to, I could just clamber in there, and yet that side is locked. At random. Tilly, you right? Yeah. Right. Nice. All right. Oh, yeah. It's only really the harbour itself that is, what I would say, is very old. The rest of the town, the rest of the town is uh, somewhat newer. Somewhat newer. Still picturesque, but certainly not as old as the harbour. It's quite a strange mix to see newer houses with the very old harbour walls. There's some older buildings. Knew there had to be some here. I've been to Patrice a few times, but it's not a place that I know like the back of my hand. Patrice Arms. Definitely good on a hot day like today. That is some old school communication. You don't see many of those anymore. <laughs> a relic. A bakery, a couple of shops. Diamond Jubilee Memorial. 1897. Good old Queen Vic. She served us well. Splosh, splish, splosh. It's okay, feet are dry. Some nice pretty dwellings. The Cornish flag of St Piran. Flying proudly. Waterfront restaurant. Haven't eaten in there, but maybe one day. A 
named after our Mr. Bassett, who owned a lot of land around here and some tin mines. Lived in Tahiti, and we went to Tahiti recently. So I'll leave a link at the end of this video for that one. And you can check out where Mr. Bassett used to live. Convenient conveniences. Good for a comfort break. I've got to get that. Maybe not. And now, onto the beach for half an hour or so. Pebbly up this end, it does then get sandy the farther you go down. The tide now looks like it's coming in, whereas when we were up there, it's a little bit way, a little bit further out. Incidentally, that's where we were. Big old rock protruding from the sea. Standing guard, as it has done for a heck of a long time. Thank you, Rock. You're doing a great job. We salute you. So we have managed to get to Petrie for a good time and the tide is out, which means that we can go exploring all of these beautiful rock pools. going to do it with this vlog. We are done here at Portree. As always, very picturesque, very beautiful coastline, very dramatic harbour, a lot of history there. Definitely worth coming down here to check it out. Definitely not the biggest of beaches but it certainly does the job and is very beautiful. I can see why this place is on the map. As always, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the Bryce side and hit that notification bell so you'll always stay in touch with my travels around Cornwall. As always, be good, be good to each other, be kind, be good to yourself. And as always, look on the Bryce side of life, it's completely free and awesome. So, bye bye. used by the Welsh fleet.